Welcome to Don't Fall Victim to PTE Ransomware. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, as the title suggested, this is about, well, I call it ransomware, but, but in reality, this is all about the fact that you can have code, and, and note my word here, you can have code in your system that you don't necessarily control the code for. And what do I mean by that? Well, in the old days, nav and, you know, navigation, whatever, there were only one version of, uh, of, of objects. Those were the objects. Um, but with Business Central, it's different because we got AL code sitting outside in Visual Studio code, as we usually say, but we got, the code sitting outside that that code compiles into an app file that gets uploaded to to the cloud or to your on-prem server, and gets consumed. Um, and depending on settings, um, what you have in your server might not be the code. It might not be accessible, meaning that unless you actually control your source code. The, the AL code that is sitting somewhere, unless that's under your control, you can end up in a situation where you have stuff running in your business central where you do not have full control. You do not have access to a source code. And then a update from Microsoft comes along and maybe your PT is lo no longer compatible with business central. And the people who made the, uh, the, the PT, the customization might not be available or, you know, there could be a fallout or whatever it is. And suddenly you're in the situation where you have this component inside your system that is blocking updates and Microsoft wants to delete it because it's blocking updates and you need it to run your business. And, and what do you do? Um, and so, so the first part of this video is simply because, you know, do not get into this situation. Uh, make sure that whatever is made to your system, that you know the code is available. And either that it's stored on your file server, you have access to the repo, or there is a contract between you and whoever writes the code uh, that you have access to it and and stuff like that. So don't don't end up in the situation where you suddenly are, are depending on on something that you don't have the the, the source code to anymore uh, but let's uh, let's take a look and at how that could look um so here is my business central and um just a local docker version but pretend that this is uh, our production environment so if i go into First of all, if I have in here, you know, some very, very important stuff. I, I had somebody make me a customization to hold my very important data. As you can see that data does not come more important than this one. So I, I need this. I need this to run my business. This is, this is essential. Uh, and if I go into, uh, extension management yeah i got tons of stuff in here but somewhere no we can see that i have ransomware versions 1.002 installed and um that's the one that gives me the uh the the, the very important data that i need um so the first check you can do to make sure that this is actually under your control is to hit the three dots and see that you should be able to download the source code. I'm not able to download the source code here. Let's check something else. Post to the GL from code. Well, this customization, I can download the source code. So what that means that I can download something here and I can put that into Visual Studio code. I can change the code and, and I can publish new versions of this. So it's under my control. This one down here is not under my control. Um, 
I cannot do anything. And I, meaning both I as a user cannot do anything, your current partner, who might not have been the one writing the code, cannot do anything. Microsoft might be able to do something, uh, but uh, I don't know. Um, so anyway, so so let's play out the you know the uh, the worst case scenario that you know I am so dependent on this thing. Whoever made this is no longer available, either physically available or economically available, whatever the reason. So I need to somehow gain control of this thing. Um, and how do we do that? Uh, so clearly, we cannot we cannot download the source. Uh, so the first thing we can do um, is that we can take a look and see what does this extension expose. Uh, and uh, let, let's see, I'll put the, the app ID into the clipboard just to make it more efficient. Um, so here is Visual Studio Code, and I just created a um, an empty project. Uh, and for the sake of being able to look at the symbols of this app, so in order to look at symbols for something, I would need to create a dependency. So I'll in inside my app.json, I'll go and create a new uh, dependency section. Um, so I need the the app ID. I need the name. What is the name? Is ransomware. Uh, I need the publisher. I think the publisher was the that the default guy. Very popular publisher. And I need a version. Got that. So now I added a section uh, in here for it. And I could actually, instead of app ID, use the one that's just called ID. I'm not sure why. Um, so now that is happy. So what I can do now is go and Asked to download symbols. Okay, I got symbols, and if I open up AL packages, we can see that I got symbols for my app. Excellent. So, and now we're assuming that I have the all always excellent AL, AZ AL Dev Tools installed. Um, if not, go install it. Um, so if I go back and then I double click on these uh, on the symbols, and we can see that if I click all here, that there are two objects in in this extension. So it's not a very big, but it's very important. Um, there's a table and there's a page. Um, and if I if I double click here, I get Let's call it pseudo AL, uh, almost complete. So they call it DAL, so debug AL. So uh, we can see that, well, the fields are here. There are no properties. There's nothing but the bare minimum. Uh, if I do the same thing with the page, well, I get, again, just less than the bare minimum. But, but I get something. So what we could do now is saying, okay, so how do we, you know, un, uh, unravel this and, and kind of, you know, we got to start somewhere, but, but you know, take over control. And what we could do is let's create a new app. So I'll do AL Go and I'll go Project YouTube Ransomware 3, I think. Now I get a new app, but, and uh, let's just make sure that our launch thing is okay. But I don't want a new app because we want, we want the old app. So, so we basically, um, let's see if I can do this clever. Maybe this may break horrible. Uh, so what if I do this? So I have 
the one with the symbols over here just so we can look at it um, and then our app that we want to take over um, so the first thing we need to do let's check our app JSON and say okay the clearly we need to make sure that the ID name publisher and version are the same as the app that the the app that we have lost control for um, so those are basically these four so we can grab them and then let's replace this section with that we need to add a comma uh, and let's up the version number to three so now we have created an app with a, the other app id so so now this app is the other app and we make sure the name and publisher version all that is the same um, And, and then we can see down here, this is the interesting part, you know, allow downloading source. Well, so let's set that to true and include source in symbols file. And, you know, let's make this a, you know, a friendly app, one that we don't get into this kind of trouble again. Um, okay, so what did we have? We, well, we have a table. So let's copy this thing. And go over here and do we remove this guy. Let's remove and then say new file. Let's go table AL. And I'll paste this in. And then we can see we get fields and we get a key, which is fine. The P key was the primary key field. Uh, so we're missing potential prophecies. That might not, if there were any. So I created something very simple in, in the other one. Um, but but let's just go with this. So at this point, what we want to do is get control of our data. So we have a table definition that is enough. So we can do the same thing with the, with the page. We'll copy these symbols, and then we'll create a new file with the page. Here, paste that in. And uh, we can see that this thing is less than useful. Oh, oh, well, less than usable, I guess. So we need to we need to do some stuff here. Uh, so we're missing tons of stuff. We're missing a uh, a source table. So that will be the important table. We're missing a page type. That will be a list. Um, and then we're missing application area on all these guys. So we'll, we'll add that. There we go. And then add a usage category called lists and then an application area up here. So let's see if we can, we can compile this. We cannot. And we have a problem. We have no symbols. So actually, let's download symbols. That oh, that's okay. There we go. Let's see if we can compile this now. We can. Okay. Um, so here, here is the most important thing in this entire process. Because as you might have figured out by now that, that you know, this is... This is delicate, uh, and and we don't want to screw up and 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 mess with our data. So we want to make sure that in our launch JSON that we just created, so it's not there. But we will we don't want anything close to false, right? We don't want to force anything. So we have no schema updates, so this means that it will try to sync nicely. So let's try to deploy this from Visual Studio Code because. If, if we were in a live situation and not me just sitting here, um, then, and now we're hitting something, another video. Wow, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, then what we, the, the process, before I start doing all this, I would actually take, use the admin center to make a copy of 
my production environment into a sandbox and then I'm working in the copy of this. Uh, anyway, our app was deployed. So let's check here. Let's check extension management and go down and find ransomware. And now you can see here that, you know, version one and version two are no longer installed, but version three is installed. Meaning that if I go in and talk to, so it's talk to, hello, that's another video. If you're not subscribed, I should subscribe. There's a video about me talking with Business Central. Um, quite fun. Anyway, uh, we got the important data and we have the data. So the data that was before sitting in available in an app we had no access to is now available for us. This is this is our app that is showing the the, the same data. Um, and you would you would say, hey, but but Eric, hang on. If there's a million table and a million forms and tons of business logic, then this method is totally not doable. And and I agree with you, but I'm talking about worst case scenario. Um, and and hopefully that's why I started this whole video by saying that okay. Don't ever get into this situation. Make sure that the stuff that you're dependent on are, uh, you know, you have access to it, um, and 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 so you won't up end up in this situation. Because as you can see, this is this is, this is a shitty solution to a shitty problem. Uh, but but it is a solution, uh, and I think that that's uh, that's important to understand that we can actually you know regain control of the data and then we have to go and, and recreate the business logic uh, uh, like this because we only get the bare raw public uh, visualization of what whatever has been exposed as symbols uh, the rest of stuff we cannot see we'll never be able to see um, Anyway, I, I think the the conclusion here is uh, is obvious. Uh, don't get into this situation. Don't get into the situation where you do not have access to your source code. And if 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 you know if you are who whomever is doing your code uh, for you is is coming up with shady uh, schemes where where the code is not available or s stuff like that no, go somewhere else uh, because you don't want to end, end up in this situation where somebody else is holding you for ransom for your for your ERP system anyway that's it for uh, this little video. Uh, if you want to see more, you know, check this one. It's a good one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.